Welcome to Lab at Five. Thanks for joining us tonight. What we're going to do now is we're going to start another book study. Now, what we were doing is we went through some of the Psalms, and then I took you through Philemon, and Pastor Nate took us through Titus. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start a study on the book of Colossians. Now, let me give you a little of the background so you understand what's going on. The book of Colossians is written by the Apostle Paul. Paul, at this time, when he writes this book, is in Rome. He's under house arrest. And uh, he was very busy. He wrote four books of the Bible. Uh, he met with people and talked with people and led people to the Lord. And so he was very, very busy there. Well, one day, a man by the name of Epaphras comes to him. Now, Epaphras was a man who had met Paul when Paul was in, uh, was in Ephesus. And Colossae is about 100 miles away from there. So Epaphras met Paul and took the gospel back to Colossae and started this church in Colossae. And Colossae and uh, Ephesus are in modern day Turkey. They're, again, they're about 100 miles apart. So uh, Epaphras is there and, and they've started this church and Philemon was going to this church and uh, the church was going well. But all of a sudden, false teachers started to come into the church and teach falsehood. Now what they were teaching was two different things. The first thing they were teaching was they were teaching that Jesus Christ is okay. Uh, but if you really wanna be right with God, you need to keep all these rules and regulations and special days. That's what you need to do if you really wanna be right with God. In other words, what they were saying is Jesus was not sufficient for salvation. The other group was coming in and they were teaching that you had to have this special knowledge, that you had to have this special experience to be really right with God. Yet Jesus is okay, but if you really wanted to take the next step, if you really wanted to be real close to God, to be right there with Him, you needed this experience, or you needed this logic, or, or correction, knowledge. And so what Paul does is Paul writes off this letter to Colossae, straighten them, them out about the sufficiency of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is what we need. So what I want to do tonight is I just want to look at two verses very quickly. I want to look at verses two, verse 2, which tells us three things, and then we'll go to verse 4. So listen to uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 2. It says, To the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Now Paul tells us three things about ourselves. He first calls us saints. Now, we have this idea that saints are just special Christians. I mean, the Christians that are right up there, they're, they're a special group. That is not true. Saints is anyone who's accepted Jesus Christ as their savior is a saint. The word saint means set apart once. That's what it means, being set apart to God. Um, it also means uh, we belong to God. Uh, we have been claimed by God. That's what it means. And it's for every single believer. Then he says, in Christ. This, this talks about the saints being in Christ. Now here's another one where people thought that only really high up people were in Christ. Um, Moses, Joshua, Paul. King David. Now, they might have been in Christ, but not the regular guy. But Paul says very clearly that we all are in Christ. If we have accepted Christ as our Savior, we are in Christ. When we are saved, we are placed into Christ. And that's what he's saying. He says, you are a saint. You're a set apart um, uh, for God. You belong to him. And you know what? You are in Christ. Everyone who accepts Jesus Christ as Savior has been placed in in Christ. He then says, he says to the saints and faithful brothers in Colossae, at Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Now the word peace there is a judicial term. And what it means is we are at peace with God, that there's nothing in between God and us anymore. See, before we knew Christ as our Savior, we were not at peace with God. But once Christ came into our lives, we became peace with God. Paul makes it very, very clear how we got these things, how we became saints, how we became in Christ, how we got peace 
uh, with God. He says it in verse 4. Listen to what he says. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints. It's faith in Christ Jesus that saves us. It's not rules or regulations. It's not baptism. It's not where you were born. It's not your last name. It's when we place our faith in Jesus Christ, that's when we are saved. And it is sufficient. And you don't need anything else. And so that's how Paul starts his letter. He wanted to make sure that the believers there knew that they belonged to Christ when they accepted Christ as their Savior. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your word and what you tell us. Thank you for encouraging us that we who have placed our faith in Christ, um, uh, that we are at peace, that we are in Christ, and we're saints. And it all comes through accepting Christ as our Savior. And Father, we thank you for that. Thank you for providing a way for us. In Christ's name, amen. We'll continue our study tomorrow. So make sure you join us. Again, thanks for coming and uh, being a part of Live at Five.